All right. Third segment of the day. Special play of the day. It is called the t- 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 two for Tuesday parlay, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Two legs, special play, parlayed up, over two to one odds payout, and we're getting it straight to the damn pay window. I'm going to yield back real quick. I'm going to let my partner pal tell you about leg number one. That's the NBA leg. It is the New York Knicks plus three and a half. Yes, you may be saying you're out of your hot damn mind. Yes. I disagree with you. Yes, we know that Julius Randle is out of this damn game. No, we do not believe he is only worth two points. Yes, we think it is total bullshit. But partner, before I say any more, please knock it out of the park. You mentioned it, dude. Plus three and a half, down to plus three in a lot of spots right now. I don't think that matters. I'd like that more, dude. Because as far as what you said, so this Knicks line, it was down to one and a half before the uh, Randall news, down to one for a minute. Uh, and then you and I were talking, and it jumps up to three and a half. So it's like, whoa, what the hell's going on here? And Julius Randall's out, obviously. So not only, like you said, is it saying that he's worth two and a half points, the opening line was two and a half, and now it's at three. So you're telling me he's only worth a half a point on the opening line? I'm calling hot bullshit. Shit, man. Uh, I, this Knicks team, uh, or this Atlanta team, excuse me, their defense isn't good. They're 35 and 36. They're a losing basketball team. I don't know how many times on the show I have to say it, man. Uh, they're not the team that they were last year. They're not the team that's going to, uh, I don't think they're going to come in uh, like they were in Trey Young last year into MSG and, and tear their pants down. I don't think that's going to happen uh, because you can say you don't like the Knicks offense, but. It has this entire season and should continue. Bad offenses have exploited this Atlanta defense. And I think that's what we see here tonight, Without uh, even without Julius Randle, man. I think these guards and R.J. Barrett and uh, Evan Fournier are going to have a really nice night. And Trey Young has been banged up, man. He's, I don't think he's going to be able to dominate this game. He hasn't been dominating these games lately. He did our Bulls a couple weeks ago, and that was about it, man. Um, so plus three, wherever you're seeing it, I personally think they get it done outright, man. I love that it comes back down even after all this and everyone's chatting about uh, being terrified about Julius Randle. I got caught with my pants down uh, with two even bigger stars out and the opposite side still took care of business. That's not even why I like this, but I feel like that at least bears mentioning, man. So uh, home at MSG tonight, Knicks plus three, three and a half, wherever you're seeing it. Lock it in, man. I think it's a good play. Fucking love it, dude. I got nothing else I can add on top of you. Uh, honestly, that that Julius Randle, that is, that's what sold me, man. You're telling me he's worth a it point and a half on the opening least. spread? That should be six, seven. Five, six. Fucking hell. You're telling me that's all? Nah, stop. They might win this damn game outright. I, I don't so. give a shit about that. Speaking of winning a game outright, and convincingly, might I add, we're going to the matchup for the second leg between the Vanderbilt Commodores and the Xavier Musketeers. The other NIT matchup on tonight's slate, the late game. We're laying the wood. Instead of plus three and a half, we're taking minus three and a half with the Xavier Musketeers. Wherever you're finding it at, be sure to do your line shopping. But it looks like it's holding firm at a minus three and a half. And we love that because uh, the underdog here, the old Commodores, are getting all of the money. Please, for the third time here today, say it with us, kids. Severe monetary liability. Not a sharp side. Do not buy it in college basketball. Do not buy the steam. This line is frozen like a damn popsicle in the back of your fucking freezer. It ain't going nowhere. It is ice cold. It ain't moving, my friend. So don't buy it. There's no reason to buy into the money. It is very similar to what I told you guys uh, with with my uh, Virginia play um, with the money line and the spread. Cavalier, or uh, Cavalier, <laughs> Musketeers are close getting enough. a bad, yeah, pretty damn close. Are, yeah, right, same shit. Are getting a boatload of the bets and money on the money line. But again, much like I viewed that UCLA St. Mary's game, the books are willing to take the hit on that with how much they're going to rake in on the spread. Everybody is bought in to throwing their money on the spread side, on the uh, dog on it. Why am I? Uh, why am I? The Commodores. Okay, the Commodores. There we go. Similar. The Vanderbilt side. I only had fucking. Sometimes I just look over and I look at the matchup and it just helps me keep flowing. I didn't have the yeah. fucking Commodores written down. I only got Xavier, but Xavier. Minus three and a half is our second leg on the two for Tuesday parlay. So one more time, New York Knicks plus three and a half and the Xavier Musketeers minus three and a half. Partner pal, anything else you got in regards of the two legs on the two for Tuesday parlay of the day? I don't think so, my man. I uh, I guess I, uh, I've i been paying attention to the NIT, but over the weekend didn't have a ton of eyes on it. I didn't realize they took down the old Gators. I found out this morning, yes, obviously. I didn't realize it convincingly because they were scuffling at the end of the season, but... Uh, Finding that uh, momentum here for, uh, you know, uh, not the tournament, but still postseason, man. So I like it a lot. I do as well, my friend. 
So without further ado, appreciate you and your insights as always. Appreciate you and your picks as always. It's time to uh, put kind of a cap, if you will. I am the cap and Colt, ah. right? I am cap and Colt. I am the cap and Colt now. I am, I am the cap and Colt now. <laughs> It's time to put the cap, if you will, on top of the first half of uh, the show here.